Thank you, Vancouver. I gotta tell you, it's been a good year for me so far. You guys ever, uh, you ever sleep with somebody so much more attractive than you that you have to stop them halfway through just to be like, hey, thanks for doing this. <laughs> Mommy needed this. It is the second time this year I have been reminded I am not a 10. The first time is when I fell in a bar just like this. You wanna know what happens when you're not good looking and you fall in a bar? Pfft, nothing. <laughs> no one gives a shit. I feel like a pretty girl falls in a bar, somebody catches her, you know, that's the story they tell at their wedding. I fell in a bar, that was just the story they reminded me of at my intervention. <laughs> They're like, your drinking has affected us in the following ways. <laughs> I feel like the time it takes somebody to get to you directly reflects where you rank on a scale from one to 10. Like as I was tipping over, I couldn't help in my own mind not to be like 10, nine, eight, seven, seven. <laughs> now I'm just on a strange barroom floor, like you don't even know me. I have a wicked personality, you know? I love camping. Right? <laughs> Somebody came over, he saw me fall, you know? And uh, he ran over and our eyes met and my face lifted up. He was like a big burly guy, big beard, blue eyes, just my type, you know? And he rushed over and he reached his arm out to me and he knelt down and he whispered into my ear and he was like, listen, you have to leave. <laughs> I was like, do you work here? He's like, no, but you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> I don't know. I'm 34 years old. I live with my sister. I think that is too old to live with a sibling. <laughs> Not that I don't like it. I love it. She's like my best friend. We have a blast. But I left my house the other day. My neighbor stopped me in the driveway and he goes, hey, I know we don't know each other very well, but tell you what, me and my wife would love to have you and your wife <laughs> over for supper. <laughs> but I'm a broke comedian. So I was just like, what? are we having? <laughs> I'll make out with my sister for roast beef. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I'm about. <laughs> I think that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I do. I really do. But I think conventionally attractive people have the leg up. And I think this because my friend is a very attractive pe person, you know, and we live very different lives. Like we went on a trip together to New York City and we got to the hotel and she said to me very casually, she goes, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, uh, my phone's on the fritz and my debit card's not working. <laughs> that means she's so attractive that she left a country with no phone, no money, and no worries. <laughs> I wouldn't go to Surrey with less than $500. <laughs> my Costco membership and some sort of roadside assistance guarantee. <laughs> what if we break down? No one's stopping for me. They'll think I'm the mechanic. That's what'll happen. 